guys. So first of all, thank you so much for all of your comments, all of your tweets. I don't even recognize my Facebook wall right now. You guys completely redecorated it, um, which is awesome and so fantastic. And uh, yeah, I kind of, I think I'm still in shock, to be perfectly honest, that Talk Nerdy was uh, put into a, what they call a put pilot by CBS. So it's gonna be a wild ride and I honestly cannot wait but it's I can't even take credit for it all of that just goes to my two agents and, and my entertainment attorney so that was all of their very 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 hard work and just thank you so much um, truly but as you guys know on Talk Nerdy I met with just about any investor that I could have possibly taken a meeting with and you know I've I do that even too socially just for meetings and whatnot like if I happen to be in a new town I'll you know tweet something out or post you know post anything on Facebook or even just email my friends to be like hey who should I meet with while I'm here um, I do that pretty religiously but for me it was it was a total struggle to get one anyone to take me seriously because I didn't know how to write a business plan I never went to college um, and even my first business plan was actually written on a tablecloth at a Chinese restaurant, so thank you, Mr. Rick. I appreciate that, sir. Um, and then everything else is just this constant uphill of, even recently in Miami, I had a gentleman tell me that my focus should be on babies instead of business. Um, he said that, his, he specifically said that my lifestyle was not attractive to men. So um, it was not always easy. But with each scenario, I not only got better at my pitch, whatever I was pitching at the time, but I also got more confident in my capabilities as a person, that it's like, okay, I can get these meetings, I can talk to these people. And from each one, I took something away that got me to this exact place where I am right now, which is tomorrow night on CNBC on the West Texas Investors Club. Deep in the heart of Texas, removed from mainstream America, Butch and I have actually done it all. We started from the bottom up. These self-made men developed their own investment strategy. We're looking at the person first and the business second. They look past the bottom line. Come on! Jesus and into the heart of a man. You don't know me. You don't know me. We believe in the product. We don't believe in you. The West Texas Investors Club. Series premiere Tuesday, August 4th at 10. CNBC. God, I love it. Um... I'm not even going to be cheesy in saying this. I'm not even going to try and like be overly perky or anything like that. These people are fucking awesome. They're fucking awesome. Period. End of sentence. Butch, Gill, and Rooster are so fantastic. I had hands down the best week of my life. And I am so thankful to see good people doing so well. Um, they are so very inspiring. We're, we're very, very, very different people. Um, so it was fantastic to get to learn from them and to spend this, this week with them in, in their hometown. I was flown to Midland, Texas. It, it was a real game changer for me. There was this kind of comfort in knowing that you're not crazy, you're, you're just doing something a little different. Um, but also too, I mean, I, I learned a lot. I learned an enormous amount, and for that, I'm very grateful. And I hope you guys enjoy the episode. It's on uh, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. CNBC. Hopefully, I don't get my ass chewed out. I guess we'll have to see. Bye, guys. If you'd like to see and download what I presented to the guys, you can go to whatsuptheapp.com or search for WU Isla Mirada in both the iTunes and Google Play Store. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. Let's get that damn party started.